The Gambia Ports Authority and the Turkey Base Group are at an advanced stage of an ambitious port expansion project implementation. Hadijaju visited the project site and she prepared this report. As the nation anticipates the construction of a billion dollar deep sea port in Sanyang, the Gambia Ports Authority and Albera Group are implementing a port expansion project to deal with the port's current space issues. As the two outfits strive to decongest the port facility as a strategic commercial fit for the deep sea port option in the southern coastline, private properties within the contiguous zone of the port have been acquired and we have been demolished. The demolition, which began almost a month ago following the investment agreement with Albera Group to invest over 20 million euro in the construction of a $1 billion deep sea port in Sanyang, while upgrading the country's ports has significantly progressed. Conscious of the need to increase the handling capacity of the country's only seaport and decongest terminals, the government of the Gambia and partners deemed it necessary to expand the Banjul port facility and developed a new deep port to enhance Gambia competitiveness in the first evolving global maritime industry. The communications officer of the Gambia Ports Authority, Jibu M. Seidi, brings us up to speed with the level of the expansion works. So yes, um, the first phase of this expansion had been done, which is the um, demolition of the high dive properties, which was acquired by the GP and Gambia government precisely. So um, the demolition is done, and now we are on the other phase of the project right now which is um, getting things done to fix the perimeter fencing of the area. Because the expansion generally is about getting more space for our container terminal. That is why the port went to getting more half dive properties to expand our, 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 our terminal for container operation and container handling. The Banjul port has been grappling with significant challenges, including inadequate infrastructure and capacity constraints, leading to diversion of cargo to the port autonome de Dakar, Senegal. The Gambia government has taken a giant step in addressing this major challenge. Well, as you can see, we're taking a very, very um, giant step because Every day there is work happening here since the signing ceremony on the 11th of July. Uh, the following week, the Albayrak team had sent in, uh, deployed their, their people here on the ground, technically, with the State Department of the Gambia Port Authority to start demolition. And that phase is already com uh, completed. Now we are doing the clearing. And as you can see behind us here, people are walking towards getting the perimeter fencing done. So by and large, um, we, are, we are fast in terms of schedule that is programmed for the expansion and the development of the area. The plan for the construction of a deep sea port in Sanyang has been necessitated by Banjul Port's proneness to climate risks associated with sea level rise, the dredging requirement due to increased sedimentation, limited capacity for expansion and the congestion of the capital city. The construction of a new seaport in Sanyang and the expansion of the Banjul Port will increase revenue and create employment opportunities for youths. If sign a project that will invest in the development of Banjul Port, minimal investment for the next six years, and of course a new deep sea port in Sanyang. So the Gambia would benefit from a lot of youth employment because the port will employ a lot of young people and a lot of capacitized people to serve in the new port that is coming and will also demand more human resources in terms of the port that we are trying to expand in Banjul here. So uh, expectation for the container terminal as well would be there would be more space for container handling. Because if we don't have more space for container handling, then there's always congestion and then there's always a cry for people having their goods and services not carried out or good or service for money is not going the right way. So the expectation will be will improve in terms of efficiency. According to officials, no major challenge has been registered so far despite the rainy season and work is going smoothly without any hindrance. The construction of a deep port in Sanyang has a timeline of six years and a 30-year operational plan. Reporting for Star TV News. I am Hadi Jaju.